Hello, beautiful creative people. This is Kyla Givehan coming to you for book 25 for the Book in a Day series. So it is Sunday, June 23rd, 3 o'clock in the afternoon, 3.05 in the afternoon, and I am actually making this book on location if that makes sense. Um, I'm actually visiting my sister-in-law and her husband in Minneapolis, Minnesota. So, I've been away from home for about a week and uh, I will be away from home for another four days or so. And so this is the first time I've had to make the book away from home. So it's quite an interesting um, situation. As you can tell, I'm inside of a car right now. We're actually driving from Minnesota to Sioux Falls, South Dakota to visit more of my husband's family. Um, and yeah, so he was actually born in Sioux Falls, South Dakota. So that should be interesting to go back and see where he was born and visit all of his family there. So that's, that's what this trip is about. Uh, and so there was no way around making the book you know not away from home so <laughs> here I am so my thought is um, I actually have been struggling which is why it's Sunday I've been struggling with what can I do when I don't have all of my supplies with me and so I thought this would be an interesting way to um, figure out how to make a book in a day on location not at home not with all my tools and everything so I will tell you that I have um, I do have a little travel kit um, art travel kit that I travel with um, it has lots of different things in it but it's not just book art stuff it also has stuff for like my art journaling and um, just sort of uh, sketchbook stuff that I take with me when I'm journaling so it has like you know watercolor um, watercolor pencils and I have like a little watercolor set some twine um, tape pen pencils a little bit of acrylic paint in these little tiny containers um, so yeah there's like these little tiny containers of acrylic paint but I'm actually going to try to keep it super simple uh, one of the things I do when I travel uh, my husband and I both travel for work he travels a lot more than I do uh, but we both travel um, I travel periodically for work let me put it that way uh, and he probably travels three times as much as I do but one of the things we both do so when I'm away I always send myself a postcard back home so I'll write myself a postcard and just sort of talk about the trip and anything I want to like remember or remind myself of um, mostly when I'm traveling it's to give a presentation to teachers for something um, or to writers or artists or uh, literary in the literary world so I'm, I'm doing a bunch of different things but I'm usually traveling for work when I do this and so I send a postcard back to myself that just says hey Kyla you know remember that you really enjoyed giving this presentation mostly because you felt extremely prepared always feel prepared you know like little notes like that to just remind myself of the trip or I'll say you know remember this particular thing you were so in awe when you saw the botanical gardens in blah 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 right that kind of thing so that got me thinking when I was uh, because we were in New Orleans before we were here in Minnesota and that got me thinking I, I was filling out my um, postcard to send home to myself and I was like oh Hmm, let me think about how I could make a book out of this. So what I did, we, we were on our way to the airport. So we were leaving the hotel. And so I picked up three uh, postcards from New Orleans, New Orleans, Louisiana. Then we had a layover in the Charlotte airport, Charlotte, North Carolina. And so I picked up three postcards in Charlotte. And then now that we're here in Minneapolis, I have postcards for Minneapolis. And then we're driving to Sioux Falls, and I'll pick up a couple in Sioux Falls. So by the time I will have, I think, a pretty good stack of postcards. And so I think what I'm going to do is, as we're driving to South Dakota, because I think it's about a four-hour ride from where we are, um, I'm going to actually fill these out as write these out as if I were writing home to myself I'm going to try and do it in more of a um, 
epistolary poetic way so there'll be like little letter poems to myself and then once I get to Sioux Falls tonight and I fill out the Sioux Falls cards I will then um, bind this together as a book I'm thinking using probably Japanese stab binding maybe so that's my plan as of right now I have four hours to figure out exactly what I'm gonna do uh, but, I, but that's that's the plan. I'm going to try to go with that because it seems simple. I have the postcards. Um, it's something I traditionally do anyway, send myself a postcard um, from wherever I am, am traveling. So I have like just like a ridiculous number of postcards. And the other thing is my husband sends me postcards when he's away and I'm not with him. So he'll write me a little postcard and say, I wish you were here. They have this amazing restaurant with, you know, something that I think... You, you know a crab dish that I think you would like um, something like that so I have a ton of postcards that uh, I've accumulated over the over the last I don't know I've been doing this for probably about three years every time I travel for work I do this so maybe even longer but definitely three years so I have a lot of them so I'm thinking that would be a good thing to do take these blank cards and create uh, little epistolary poems poems in a letter form to myself and then bind this as a stab bound book about my journey this two week uh, work slash vacation trip so that's the plan I hope it pans out because again I've waited until Sunday and I really need to have a book done in order to make my one a week um, goal so it's gonna be four hours for me, but it might be two seconds for you. And I will see you back here uh, for a check-in, probably halfway through the trip, I'll do a quick check-in and uh, just see how, how that plan is coming. Okay, see you back on the other side. Hello beautiful people. It is 2.31 in the morning on Monday, June 24th and the book is done. I am completely and utterly delirious and tired, um, but the book is done. So I did decide to go with the uh, postcards and I've bound them as a Japanese stab binding, however in my delirium <laughs> I did not uh, thread them properly I there should be thread going across the ends here on both ends and I didn't do that and I didn't realize it until I was at the end and so I just was not gonna go back and do it so what we have is a book filled with um, postcards little like poem letters that I've written to myself or po letter poems see it's the deliriousness of it all <laughs> I think I've been up for 56 hours straight it feels like um, I've definitely crossed into four I've been in stood in four different states in the last 
50 some odd hours, so I think my head is just about to explode. But anyway, letter, po letter poems, epistolary poems, um, each postcard has its own little letter in it and they you know they span all the different states so it's not just one state so the postcards I think are beautiful and I tried to almost try to write to what I saw on the card that reminded me of each place so that was fun to try and do that um, so yeah it's it's a book it's bound I did it um, away from home, which was just in itself such a drama-filled uh, ordeal. I think if I have to go out of town again, I will definitely plan differently. Um, I thought I had all the materials I could possibly need with me, but obviously that is difficult to do when you're traveling. So, book 25 is done. I'm calling it Postcards from... dot 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 and just kind of leaving it at that, something simple. So, thank you again for watching and subscribing. If you're interested in this stab bound, not this version, because I, clearly I did it wrong, uh, but again, it's it's bound and the, the, the pages, you know, the book holds together as a book, which is the whole point of it all, right? So, uh, the book is book 25 postcards from dot 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 and I'll put a link in the bottom for maybe a couple of YouTube videos where other folks are doing Japanese stab binding and you'll be able to get a glimpse of that um yeah otherwise I think that's it for this book and I appreciate you sticking in and hanging in there with me uh, this long those of you that have been watching every week and commenting and posting and sending me emails um, and beautiful pictures of your books so again I'm always appreciative and thankful to see that if you haven't subscribed please do and join in the dialogue about bookmaking and poetry and just creativity in general so again thanks for watching and I hope you go out and create something beautiful today Bye.